Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can completely uninstall Visual Studio Code from Windows 11 and Windows 10 so that we can then resolve any issues that we were having and then freshly install Visual Studio Code. Press your Windows key and type Control Panel. This is the first step. We just uninstall it from here. Click on Uninstall a Program. And if you are seeing something like this, again here you can go to Program and Features. But if you just click here and click on Category, you'll see something like this and click on Uninstall a Program. Here, go to Visual Studio Code, scroll down and, okay, it's not Visual Studio Code, it's Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Double click on this, not the installer one, the one above it. Click on Yes. And now, as you can see, uninstalling Visual Studio Code has started. And this will show you this message that says it has been successfully removed from your computer. But all the settings and extensions will still be saved. So, to delete those, press Windows and E and your Explorer will open. Go to C Drive and go inside users go inside your current user so my user is this one you will see these two default uh, and public and the another one will be your user the current user go inside this and you will see a dot vs code folder you need to delete this okay just click on delete and it will take some time let's wait for this to finish after dot vs code is deleted go down and you will see something like this app data if you are not seeing this, just click on view here and show you will have hidden items unchecked. Just check that. So as you can see, it's gone now. To show it, you just click, go here, click on show and then click on hidden items and you will be seeing app data. Now go inside app data, inside roaming, there is a code folder. Delete this too. Okay. And let's wait till this is finished. Okay. Once this code is deleted. Again, go back to app data inside local, inside Microsoft. You will see, we'll scroll down, you will see VS Code CPP tools, VS Common. So you can delete this VS Code CPP tools too. Okay. And you can delete this Visual Studio folder too. So now you have removed all the settings and configurations and extensions and uninstalled VS Code. So you have completely uninstalled VS Code. Now you can freshly install VS Code and your issues will be resolved.